miraculous journey of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to the seven skies. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will tell about night journey and ascension al al Miraj of our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that took him to the kingdom of paradise. Al Isra al Miraj took place during a time when the Prophet was facing intense hardships. Having gone through so much grief and suffering, he was given a truly beautiful and comforting gift. He was taken through the skies but ultimately into the Divine Presence, the source of all comfort and hope. As the Lord Almighty said in Quran, one of the most important lessons of Al Isra al Miraj, therefore, is that with every hardship there will be ease. Al Isra from the Kaaba to Al Aqsa. When the Prophet ﷺ was sleeping in the house of Umm Hani in Mecca, he said the roof of my house was opened and the angel Jibreel descended. The Prophet ﷺ was then taken to the Hijr, the semicircle wall of the Kaaba, where the Prophet ﷺ said that Jibreel ﷺ opened my chest and washed it with Zamzam water. Then he brought a golden tray full of wisdom and having poured its contents into my chest, he closed it. The Prophet ﷺ continued, I was then brought a white beast which is called a brag, bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. Its stride was as long as the eye could reach. Then the journey started and at several points along the journey, Zibunle Salam struck Burak and told the Prophet Wasallam dismount and pray. The first stop was at the place of immigration. After this night, he would meet Ansar and migrate to Medina. The second stop was at Mount Sinai, where Allah revealed the Torah to Hazrat Musa a.s. The third stop was at Bethlehem, where Hazrat Isa a.s. was born. The fourth stop was the grave of Musa a.s. On the night of journey by the red sand hill wheels, he was standing praying in his grave. Finally, the messenger of Allah arrived in the holy city of Al-Quds and he said, when we reached Bayt al-Muqaddas, Jabir a.s. pointed with his finger. causing a crack in the rock and he tied the rock to it at the western wall of the noble sanctuary waiting inside were all 124000 prophets alayhi salam Jibril alayhi salam led the prophets alayhi salam to the front and he led them all in prayer in this blessed space The Prophet ﷺ prayed two units of prayer to greet the Masjid. This is one of the first examples of this established Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. It is also mentioned that Jibreel ﷺ called the Adhan, Hall of Prayer, before this practice was even established later in Medina. And... that the angels from the heavens descended to pray behind all the prophets in this sacred place, subhanallah. Then Prophet ﷺ alongside Jibreel ﷺ proceeded to the noble rock that is currently housed by the Holy Dome of the Rock Masjid at the center of the Prophet ﷺ. Jibreel ﷺ led the Prophet ﷺ to the front and he led them all in prayer. 
The Prophet ﷺ saw the wide-eyed maiden of paradise at the left of the rock. He greeted them and they returned his greeting. Then the Prophet ﷺ was brought the ladder by which the spirit of the children of Adam ﷺ. It has alternative states of silver and gold and came down from the highest and amplest garden of paradise, Janatul Firdos. Now let's see what happened when the Prophet ﷺ accompanied by Jibreel ﷺ ascended into the layers of skies. The first sky. Allah ascended the Prophet ﷺ from the dome of the rock through the skies where he not only saw many miraculous sights and numerous angels, he also met the past Prophet ﷺ. Along the way, he was greeted with excitement and delight. The second to sixth sky. Then the Prophet ﷺ continued to ascend the layers of sky with Jibreel ﷺ. Again, permission was sought to enter, and the angelic guard were delighted and welcomed the Messenger of Allah. At the second sky, he met the maternal cousins, the Prophet Isa ﷺ and Yahya ﷺ. At the third sky, the Prophet ﷺ met the Prophet Yusuf. Salam, whom he described as having been given half of world beauty. At the fourth sky, the Prophet ﷺ met the Prophet Idris salam, whose soul was taken there and he is praised in the Quran. At the fifth sky, he met the Prophet Harun salam. In the sixth sky, he met Prophet Harun's younger brother, the Prophet Musa salam. At each one of these levels, this Prophet salam, welcomed the Prophet ﷺ. The seventh sky. At the seventh sky, the Prophet ﷺ met with the Prophet Ibrahim ﷺ, who was reclining his back against Al Baytul Mamur, Sidratul Muntaha, the Lord Tree. The Prophet ﷺ carried on his journey, reaching the further Lotic Tree. The Arabic word of this is Sidratul Muntaha. The Prophet ﷺ described this was. This was free in great detail. Its leaves were like elephant ear and its fruit like big earthen war vessels. A rider will travel in the shade of one of its branches for a hundred years or a hundred riders. The tree is surrounded with golden butterflies. He further said many a color had covered it, which I don't know. He also stated that there terminates everything that ascend from the earth and everything that descend from above. Subhanallah. The Prophet ﷺ witnessed a truly amazing sign from Allah. The Divine Meeting At the end of this journey, the Prophet ﷺ was brought into the Divine Presence, the ultimate source of strength and relief. It is impossible to imagine the beauty of this scene. Or how loved, honored, and humbled the Prophet ﷺ must have felt. We don't know a great about what was privately discussed between Allah and His beloved ﷺ. With Allah simply stated, then Allah revealed to His servant what He revealed. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned, then Allah revealed to me what He revealed to me, and. Then he made obligatory for me 50 prayers every day and night. It was here that Allah gave his this ummah the gift of compulsory salah. Then 50 prayers were reduced. Returning home. Finally, the Prophet ﷺ was taken back down to the blessed Masjid al-Aqsa and returned to Makkah on the Barat as he was transported home. This miraculous journey had taken place in a small portion of night. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Click the bell icon. Islamic Kids TV. Journey to yourself. Miraculous journey of Prophet Muhammad